Okay, so um, we are going to today's the main topic of my lecture is nested loop. And you know the complex problems sometimes require a nested loop, right? So basically what the nested loop means, one loop, uh, like a loops inside of a, like another loop. So that's the definition of a nested loop. Good example of using the nested loops is when you are processing your cells in a table. So the example is this. So you, know, you have a table, right? You have a table. So basically you have a table and then um, you guys like, I mean, I know that most of you use the Excel spreadsheet, right? In Excel spreadsheet, you have a table and this is called a cell, right? So um, but let's look at this uh, table. So this table is two by four table because it has a two row and then four columns. Each cell can be represented by row and column. So this particular cell is one one, right? And this one is one four because one means the first row and the four means column number four, right? So this is one four and this is represented by two four. So the row number two and column number four, right? And if you try to print this value, like uh, uh, if you try to print each cell, or if you want to try to read a value in like from each cell, right? And you should use a, a nested loop. So the example, right? The example of the uh, nested loop is this. So let's say we have a loop, right? And as you can see, uh, we have a nested loop. So the first is what? The outer loop. The next one is inner loop, right? And then let me just uh, put indentation. So this is indentation for the, uh, the outer loop, right? And then this is what? Indentation for the uh, inner loop, right? So we have uh, two, two uh, loops, like nested loop, right? And then initially we have a row number one and column number one, right? So as you can see, uh, we are trying to create, trying to print less, uh, a, each trying to print a, a cells, right? And the cells basically, uh, we are trying to uh, using the previous example, right? So in the previous example, as you can see, we have a two. I mean, a table with a two row, right? Row one, and row two, right? And then we have uh, four columns: column one, column two, column three, column four, right? And initially, our row is one, so row is one, right? And the column is one, so this is column number one initially. Right, and then uh, let's just hand uh, hand trace this uh, nested loop. So while row is less than or equal to two, because we have only we have two rows, so up to two. Right, the table has a two rows. Uh, so the row is initially is one. So this is like row is let's say r is one. Right. So Z1 is less than 2, so Z1 is less than 2, right? so this is basically row, right? And which is true, right? So, so execute the uh, next uh, statement, which is while. The column is, is at this point is 1, right? Because 1 is less than 4, which is true, right? Then it's going to print row and column which is one one right and which is this is true right so this is true the column which is one so the column in this case is what one is that less than or equal to four yes so it's going to print uh, row and column right so it's going to print one one so row is one and column is one so and you're going to print one one and then we're going to increment column by one. So basically, uh, the column at this point becomes two, right? Because one plus 
1 plus 1 becomes 2. So I'm done. So I'm going to go to the while loop. In, right? So go to the inner while loop. Right? So set column at this point is 2, right? So is that 2 is less than 4? So the uh, so is it 2, right, is less than or equal to 4? Yes. So it's going to print row and column. So at this point, row is still is 1, right? And so it's going to print 1, comma 2, basically. You know what, actually, this one, um, so let me just write it, the output here. So basically, when you run this program, the first, it's you know, print 1, 1, right? one comma one and then it's print this uh, semicolon right and then uh, instead uh, instead of a new line I just uh, set my end is going to just null so it's not going to move to the next new line instead the result will keep printing um, in the same line so print one two right so one comma two and then colon my semicolon right so I'm done, right? And then column, it's column plus one. So the column is initially two, right? So two plus one is a three. So the, uh, the column becomes a three, so I'm done. So going to the uh, next while loop, so inner while loop, sorry. And then the column is a three, right? So if this three is less than or equal to four, by the way, it, uh, the arrow loop, right? So we are still, if you look at the uh, uh, the row value, the arrow loop, we are just uh, still r is equal, row is equal to 1. It's just that this inner loop, right? It's just that this inner loop, we are just executing this inner loop right now, okay? While the row is still is 1, as you can see. Okay? So the 3 is less than or equal to 4? Yes. So it's going to print row and column. And then my column will be increment by 1. So the C is with 4, right? So at this point, the C is 4. And we are still at the row number 1, by the way. It's still row number 1. Right? So the next, I'll go to the inner loop. Is it? Um, Four is less than or equal to four, yes, which is four is less than or equal to four, which is true. So it's going to print four. Oops, sorry. This is one and one, right? Still as a row is one. And then so sorry, is that one comma I'm sorry, this is one comma three, not the four. I'm sorry. So one comma three and then we're going to print one four, right? One uh, comma four, and then the the count will be incremented by one. The column, not the count. So C is equal to five, right? And then next, go to the while loop, inner while loop. Is that the C? So five is equal to or less than four? No. So this is this is false, right? So we're not going to execute the um, inner while loop. So that's the end of the inner loop. Right, and then uh, it's going to print next one, which is new line. Right, so after you print one four, it's now your cursor will move to the next line. So this is new line, and then we have to reset the column number. So we are done done with the first row, right? But at, the, at this time, the column number is a five, so we have to reset this value to one, C one because we are about to go to room number, row number two, and the column number has to be initialized, reset, right? Initialize the reset uh, to be one. So we, uh, the column is equal to one, right? And then row is row by one, meaning that we increment by row by one, right? So at this point, done, right? So the row is at this point is equal to two, and then you go to the R loop. Okay, so now R is two, right? R is two, 
Is it two? Is it two? Uh, is less than or equal to two? This is by the variable, which is true, right? Then it's it's about then uh, it's about to execute this uh, inner loop, right? And the column is reset, right, to be one. So the C, which is one, right? This is a C, is less than or equal to four. Yes. So it's going to print row and column, which is it's going to print. This time row is a two, right? And column is one, right? This time the row is a two. That's why it's two. And uh, I'll, right now executing the row number two, right? And then your C value is increment by one. So C is equal to two. Basically, just repeat this, right? It repeats this, right? So basically, uh, only I'll just skip this, right? The same thing. Only difference is between the, uh, the first cycle of the inner loop and the second second cycle of the inner loop is that the uh, this row number is different, right? Now R since it's row is number two, basically what? It's two comma two. The C is a three. Uh, two comma three, right? And then two comma four, two comma four, and then c is equal to four, and c is equal to five, and then that's the uh, when c is equal to five, the five is less than or equal to four, which is not true, just like the previous case. That's the end of the inner loop, right? So that's the end of the inner loop and then uh, the output is going to be 2 comma 1 2 comma 2 2 comma 3 and 2 comma 4 right so that's the outer loop and then it's going to print a new line so your cursor will move to the new line and then uh, basically reset the column so the column number is now is 1 right so at this point, it's a C is 1, and then row is row plus 1. So row was 2. So um, this time, row R becomes a 3, right? Because 2 plus 1 is a 3. And then that's the end of the hour loop. So it go move to the while loop, right? And now, is that the 3, right? is it now currently is R is 3, is less than or equal to 2? This is what? This is false, right? So that's the uh, end of this while loop. So now, from this uh, slide, how many executions? When I ask you, uh, I can probably ask you these uh, questions, like how many uh, executions in total? So we can say when R is one, right? Like one, two, three, four, four executions. So basically, um, basically what? Right. When R is 1, we have 1, 2, 3, and 4, right? Those are 4 executions. When R is equal to 2, this is like a 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th. So uh, basically, it has a um, total of eight uh, executions, right? Uh, by both uh, inner and outer loops. So basically, you can have a, so the, the answer is total of eight, right? But basically, you don't have to really go through this um, whole process. Basically, you can make a, a educational guess because we have, right, this is row, right? Two, right? The column is four, right? So we know that this loop, in the R loop, there will be two. Um, the row value will uh, only vary from one and two, right? And each each uh, R loop will will have a four executions, right? So basically, the total number of executions. Right, total number of execution is basically 
2 times 4, which is 8, right? So this is the uh, answer. Okay, so uh, let me just end uh, my lecture here, right? And in the next lecture, I'm gonna I'm gonna do basically I'm gonna do the same thing, but this uh, next time I'm gonna use a for loop. Okay, so.